Well, I think it's a fantastic opportunity to bring them all together to actually promote snow sports. I think individually they're obviously working hard to put out their promotions, but by coming together and, and working with Gosia Board and ourselves to promote these offers out, we can have a bigger impact and get um, more people involved into the sport, especially in the Olympic year. Hopefully, we'll get some fantastic results from some of the, the British athletes out there, and they'll be able to inspire um, people to come and have a go. And uh, with our Gosia Board website, they'll be able to find where their local slope is and what offers are on, so good opportunity. Actually being asked to be an ambassador for something to get people into the sport which I love and what I do is, yeah, it's, it's amazing and, uh, and, and I'd love to see more people out there enjoying everything there is to enjoy about skiing, snowboarding, the mountains, the scenery and just kind of like, you know, falling over and having a laugh. It, it is obtainable to a lot of people, you know, you can go skiing with this thing for a fiver. No, you can't do anything for a fiver. You know, I mean, literally, you can't do it. But you can go skiing for an hour for five pounds. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think more people hear about that and realise that winter sports are obtainable and it is something that everybody can do. And you know, it's great. And you know, you talk to anybody. I think skiing. You know, lots of people do skiing and go skiing and enjoy winter sports. And just about trying to get that message and let other people know how good it is. Skiing in Europe at the moment is generally very good, with the low temperatures preserving the snow. In Austria, the glacier at Dubai is reopened. Although they don't have a massive snow base, conditions are good. Following strong winds in Switzerland, Zermatt is open once again, along with Sasfe. Some fresh snow was reported too. Over in Italy, Valsenalis has reopened its ski area once again. They have the deepest base depth of all the European glaciers we feature. The season is definitely winding down in Australia. Falls Creek, Threadbow and Perisher have spring-like conditions and temperatures into double figures. It's a similar story in New Zealand, with Treble Cone the pick of the resorts. Spring has taken hold in South America too. Chapelco, Cerro Catedral and Las Lanas in Argentina are all providing good riding though, while in Chile, fresh snow in Valley Nevado improve conditions and a metre of snow up top in Portillo means it's in great shape. It means a lot to be part of the British team and heading towards the Olympics. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to uh, get to ride for your country and uh, go to the Olympics. Three seasons always a good chance to with the team to get together and stuff and warm up in Hintertux and that's what we'll be doing actually in two weeks, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, it's great and leading up to Sochi, it's just you know it's it's a great help and everyone's friends. So yeah, it's a good laugh. I mean, it's amazing. Um, the team at the moment just I think they've done so well. Uh, this season um, so I think th there's a lot of hype about it um, but yeah it's a, it's a proud, proud moment. And being part of Team GB is like being part of a huge family we've got an amazing crew of people and it's um, it's awesome to travel around the world with some of your best friends and, and represent your country it's just a huge opportunity. It's, a, it's amazing you know everybody starts kind of sports and it's that idea in their head that competing for your country is just the pinnacle and it's the best so I'm stoked. Like a couple of years ago there was no team so to have like so many people on it now and well, we are all really good friends so it's really cool that we can kind of do it all together and everything. Hey, this is kind of a dream come true. It's a massive achievement. I'm, I'm really thankful that I've had the opportunity 
to compete for them as a, it's a it's a huge huge event the Olympics and being able to go and compete for GB it, it's really really pleasing. Being part of the British team means like everything to me and everything that I've worked towards because when I was younger all I wanted to do was be a skier and be like a professional skier and be competing against like the best guys in the world but now that I'm actually like on Team GB and I'm going towards Sochi 2014, one of the biggest competitions in the world. That's what I've been working towards and that's what I've been wanting the whole, my whole life. It's a really exciting time actually, because for me, um, coming from um, Sheffield and also um, with, it, with Ski Halfback being the first time that it's going to be in the Olympics, it's a good opportunity for me um, to sort of be a bit of a role model really for younger people coming through and getting involved in the sport, so that should be good. We've got loads more from those athletes coming up in the snowcast this season, so watch this space. That's all we've got time for this week. The next snowcast in time on a tradition will be coming from the London Ski Show. Make sure you tune in. Until then, bye! bye.